good morning my name is Julie from So Unique and I will pop all the links down below where you can find me on social media. I am most active on Instagram. I have an Etsy shop where I sell handmade items like project bags and things like that and at the moment we've got some like self-care bunny boxes in my Etsy shop which are really nice they've got lots of nice goodies in and one or two mystery gifts. Uh, I also have a website where I sell fabric um, and things like that and there's some sale items on there as well. Uh, well welcome and um, this is episode 12 and it's Wednesday today. I've decided uh, to film a little bit throughout my week this week because um, as you can see I'm down at the shop so I'm down here for a little while to do some work and I've just been for a, a nice walk around our man-made lake with my good friend Sarah and it's been really nice, it's a very good day <laughs> like. uh, and what, I, what I'll do now is I'll pop um, a few clips of our little walk around the lake <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing uh, what we got up to and what our lake looks like. It's sort of not far out of the town centre actually and yeah it's man-made and there's quite a few houses being built sort of around the lake and there is a nice little cafe down there and as you, as you will have seen from one of the photographs we had a cup of tea and they're just serving people through the window so there are seats that you can go and sit but we, we just carried ours round around the lake and there's lots of bins around there where you can put your dirty cups in so it was really nice but like I said very, very muddy um, but I think what how long did we spend down there we might have been about an hour and a half um, which we just had a nice leisurely walk because both of us actually want to do a little bit more walking and sort of <laughs> get a little bit fitter uh, so yes yeah, so we are going to do it again might not be for a few weeks because um, Sarah's got a few things on and I've got one or two things on but I'm hoping that we will get into a bit of a routine and do that because it's it's a nice opportunity to have a catch up so yes really enjoyed it uh, right well as you can see like I said, I'm down at the shop I it's lunchtime now and I've got a little job to do um, in the other side where the bolt door is I've got some baskets in there uh, like shelving baskets and I want to clear them out today sort through them and see what I've got so that's what I'm going to be doing and I'm back home now. I'm sat in my sewing room. I had about an hour, probably just over an hour down at the shop and I managed to get my little area tidied up because um, I, I tend to store, I've got a couple of baskets there that have got um, cross stitch kits in and hoops and things like that that I keep for online so I'm hoping to keep that little area for things that are on the website. So yes, I've had a good clear out. I've managed to put a bag together of bits and pieces like bag making supplies and that I'm just going to put on eBay probably next week and get rid of them. Uh, so <laughs> I think I'd recovered from my walk by that time because then it was time to leave and come home and from where I work to where I live is up a hill and that hill <laughs> fair got me. <laughs> My my knees turned to jelly, I tell you, so I was so pleased to get back home. And basically I just had a cup of tea, sat down, got a bit of lunch, I just had some crackers with some cheese on and an apple and several more cups of tea I can tell you because I was <laughs> I was absolutely worn out. Uh, and then I, I must have had a couple of hours actually and Adele came in and 
I said, you know, I'd enjoyed our walk and everything, but I was really worn out, unfit. So I said, I'm looking forward to doing it again. So she says to me, I, I shouldn't go out until next week again. Because <laughs> I think tomorrow I'll probably feel the effect more in my legs. I, I can do it. I can feel it a bit now. So <laughs> it's my own fault, really. I shouldn't have uh, stopped in as much. But there we go. <laughs> Never mind, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> so as I say, I'm in my sewing room and I'm going to do a little bit of sewing now. Uh, I want to sort of try and finish off doing the bunny bags because they're going to be posted out in their boxes next week. So yes, I'm just trying to get caught up now. So uh, yeah, that's what I'll be doing for a couple of hours. <laughs> and it's Thursday today. I can't believe it's Friday tomorrow. Oh, where's the week going? time is flying by far too fast at the minute um I've, today it's so it's afternoon and i must admit i have spent the morning doing a bit of housework pottering around i must admit i was a bit tired when i woke up this morning that's what happens when you go for a long walk isn't it not really, really so i did ache a little bit i was a bit stiff when i got out of bed this morning but <clears throat> It didn't take long to wear off, but I can feel the effect in my legs and hips, which is good. So I decided to stop in today. <laughs> I could have a break. Um, yeah, so what I did was I did a little bit of cross stitch. I've not done a great deal, but I've been working on my little bunny one. So I put, uh, what did I do? Part of the patch I've got TCH I did and I've done this part of the bunny um, but I am having great difficulty finding the hole on this black aider. Now I thought I might try my light box and sit out here and see if I can see the holes a little bit better because I haven't got anything else in the house that will shine light up so that's something I will try and see how I get on with that but it's coming along nicely. I'd like to get this finished actually this week so that that is my challenge to myself to see if I can get this bunny patch finished which I'm thoroughly enjoying it it's a really nice simple stitch uh, yes yeah, so I've not been out today and I decided to like I said, have a rest but I will be going out tomorrow so my walk tomorrow is basically down to the shop off to the post office and back home again and the weekend will probably be the same just I, I am definitely going to go out Saturday and Sunday for a little walk just be around the block where we live and that'll be about it but I'm hoping to get around the lake again next week I'm going to see if I can get Adele down there and maybe my daughter-in-law as well we can go and have a little little wander around and a cup of tea that'll be nice and um, actually prepared dinner ready for tonight I thought since my oven's a little bit iffy I better do it now so I've just basically got the casserole dish out and I've cooked some mince off popped it in uh, oxo cube seasoning salt and pepper things like that and I put some lentils in carrots onions celery leek uh, that might be it so that is cooking away so tea sorted now because I never know what time Kevin's coming in and he could come in at tea time and then he could come in at 10 o'clock at night so you I must admit usually I tend to wait for when he comes in and then I'll eat with him but because I'm usually busy working or something and I just get a bit carried away so yeah so that's all ready so everybody can help themselves as and when they are ready and I can actually get on with some sewing so what I am doing this afternoon, I've got a few bunny bags to finish off. It's the, this is the last, the last set. I think I've got five here now. So this is the last of the bunny bags. And yesterday, I gave myself a task of getting the lining cut out for them, putting my na my name tags in, putting my loops on, putting the zip in, and getting it top stitched. And so they're basically now ready to make up into bags. So this is what I'm going to do this afternoon. So that'll be a quick job. Um, and then basically I've finished all the bags and that's them all ready to get packaged up into the boxes. 
and we can just get on with the sublimating then and uh, yeah get everything ready so hopefully everything will go out pretty early next week which will be good so i'm looking forward to that uh what else now i had some posts today that was nice um i bought myself a book this is by laurie holt of being my bonnet the great granny squared and it's really nice got lots of nice um things in and i love the way this is done so this is something ready for me to do when i finish my other quilt i've also got another book coming but that is actually coming from america and that's not due till next month so i will share that with you when it comes uh, i think that's everything actually yeah nothing else to show so yes, I'm going to get on now and do a bit of sewing. So I will catch you all a little bit later on. And it's Friday today. And unfortunately, I haven't picked the camera up until now. And it is now 20 past nine in the evening. <laughs> well, I don't really know what's happened today. But uh, yes, it's just sort of flown by today. Um, this morning, I did pop down to the shop. Well, it was late morning. Uh, popped down to the shop had some uh, orders to pack up and post out so i got that done i uh, got some lunch i had a sandwich from the local sh shop and had a little job to do at the shop uh so i got one of the units well two units um changed around and got rid of a bit of rubbish came home had a cup of tea uh and then i was i was on the computer i think doing a few little jobs like you do and i got a message from our doctors and it was inviting me to book for my covid injection at our local covid center which i was quite surprised at actually because we had a letter from the nhs both kevin and myself oh it must be three weeks ago now i think it was fortnight before my birthday yes and it, the nearest place was like Sheffield, which, you know, is about a 20, 25 minute drive for us. But I couldn't get an appointment that we could both go to. And as I don't drive, uh, yeah, so Kevin managed to get his. He went to, I think it was Wakefield while he was at work. So that was okay. And I actually booked mine for Easter Sunday. Uh, sort of like 10 o'clock time which I thought that was good and my second one was booked for June and that's just like a week before we were supposed to go on holiday so I thought that was that didn't expect to hear anything from our local doctor so soon anyhow I got, I got a message saying would you like to book so I thought yes it's just walking distance for me so I did I booked it and I am going tomorrow which is Saturday for my first injection so i'm pleased about that i don't like needles i hate injections but i would not have something like this so yes <laughs> so it sort of put me all out really because i sort of got plans ready for the, or like the easter weekend to get everything ready to get all my housework done get some food prep for like a couple of days just in case I feel a bit off it because I think a lot of people seem to be a bit off it for a couple of days I know Kevin was um because he, he sort of woke up in the middle of the night after he'd had his injection and he was cold and shivering and his teeth were chattering and his obviously his arm was hurting and he was tired but that was really about it so after a couple of days he was fine so I've been rushing around this afternoon and this evening, sort of tidying up. I've prepared tomorrow's tea in readiness. <laughs> Shopping's coming tomorrow night. And yeah, just trying to just catch up on a few jobs because if I'm not very well and I want to go to sleep or whatever, I won't be doing anything for a couple of days. So yes, so whether I get a chance to film anymore over the next couple of days, I don't know. Because how can I craft with a bad arm? That's, that's going <laughs> to affect me. 
so we will just have to see what happens now my but now i'm glad i've got my appointment and i'm happy that it's on my doorstep which is good anyhow uh last night thursday i finished off the bunny bag so that's all done now all we've got to do really is obviously pack the boxes up and write the instructions for the felt kit which we were going to do today but Adele seems to be doing a design for me an Easter design and it is so cute I cannot wait <laughs> wait until she's finished it so we'll be sublimating that so hopefully <coughs> excuse me hopefully I'll be able to show you that um, a bit later on in this vlog um, but yes, I did a little bit of sewing last night. I did something for me. Oops. <laughs> Got my finger stuck. So I made myself one of these... Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, I need a drink. Uh, one of these little bags. And this was the last bit of bunny fabric that I've got left. So, oops, I paired it up with that nice pink rose fabric. And I'm going to keep my bunny patch cross stitch in here. So at least I did something else last night. And I'll show you how far I've got with the cross stitch. It's coming along. I've got the second bunny done. So I think what I'm going to do now is go back in the house and I'm going to just continue on with this. Um, I know I said, I think yesterday, that I was having difficulty sewing. Well, yes. What I did last night, uh, I got the light box out and I sat out here, popped that on. And yes, I could see where all the holes were. It was really good. But over the holes, there's several strands of fibre. So it's no wonder I can't get my needle through. So it's, it's just like, it's an ongoing battle trying to find the hole for my needle. <laughs> Even though I use a sharp needle, and I've had to unpick several pieces because it just didn't look right. So I went online last night, I went on eBay actually last night, and I've ordered some more black fabric, black Ada. So oh, hopefully that will come on Tuesday, and I hope that's better. Um, it's It was an undescript make, so we'll just have to see, see what happens with that, because I tend to buy... Um, DMC Ada, which is nice because the, the holes are all are, are there and you can see them. But I don't think I'll be buying this. Um, was it Dwight Guard again? Not if it's all like that. Anyhow, I love the pattern. So I can't wait. I've been eyeing up some more patterns, I must admit. Oh, I've been <laughs> I did find a lovely um, patchwork one and it was all sort of strawberries. But it's an American one and it's not PDF, unfortunately, at the minute. So I'm hoping sometime they might put it into PDF. So I'm look, just looking. I'm on the search for like strawberry cross stitches. So that's what I've been doing. I've been on Etsy and put quite a few in my basket. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I've actually saved them all now. So I can go and have a look and decide which one I want. I think I've picked one that I want. <laughs> Anyhow, I am actually going to go and have a cup of tea now and uh, have a little snack because I haven't really had any tea tonight. I didn't feel like it, so I'm going to have that now. So hopefully I'll see you all tomorrow sometime. I have put a couple of uh, new things in my Etsy shop. Uh, if you remember last week when we showed the bunny kits, we showed the bunny pennants. Well, we didn't get to put them online straight away because the pennants were all out of stock at our suppliers when we went to order so they've just come back in so we ordered plenty so we've got a nice stock of pennants so i will pop a little picture in here so you can see what they're like and we will obviously be offering different designs as well and we've got some new products as well to sublimate on um, and they're all really nice quality it's all linen so I'm really looking to be playing next week. So we we have got some oh, excuse me. We have got some aprons 
and some like drawstring bags that you can pop on your back and they look really nice and what else is there you know I've forgotten what else we've ordered yeah I don't know I can't remember we've got coasters and things like that oh we've got some nice little pouches as well so looking forward to playing well I'm just about to do a little bit of a plique I'm, I've decided to make a few little decorations for the kitchen so I'm probably going to hang them on the the cupboard door knobs and things like that this year so I'm just having a play I've got a new design it's an applique um set of tulips so it's only tiny this one but I'm like I say, I'm just having a play see what I can come up with Well, I've just finished embroidering and it's a nice design. Um, I've got a little, I've got a bit of an error there. The stitching has not covered the fabric there or there. And I think at the top of that leaf there. Now that could be me if I haven't got the hoop attached into my frame properly because it's got two sets of holes that the it latches into now if I haven't got it in one set that will probably mean it's been off a little bit so then when I've taken it out to cut the fabric and then popped it back in again it's moved position slightly so I'll have to redo that and see if that's the problem uh, or if it's the design but it'll probably be me <laughs> but anyhow I've, uh, I'm really pleased with the design that's the smallest one so I'm going to make something with it no point in wasting it is there it would make nice bunting though can you just imagine that a little bit bigger like a pennant sort of shape maybe that would be nice so anyhow I'm going to get off inside the house now I've got to go and get ready to um, get out for my uh, vaccination now so I'll catch you a little bit later on and I've just finished with the machine embroidery I did another tulip uh, pattern and this time it, it turned out okay so it must have been me uh, I probably didn't put the hoop in properly to start with <laughs> I keep doing that <laughs> anyhow I've put it together uh, I'll, just a minute, I'll just show you there we go uh, i've decorated it i've laid it up and put um like a ruffle around it and some flowers on uh, and got fabric on the back as well i use an old cardboard box because <laughs> i haven't got any card I, I can't believe i haven't any card um because i know a lot of people uh layer the cross stitches up so very similar to this and I thought as Easter's fast approaching I haven't got a lot of time to do 
the cross stitches that I want to do this year. So I thought I'd machine embroidery and layer it up the same way. So now I need to go and get some card. I don't know what I think I might try and get some mount board from from the range because I don't know where I can get the sticky back board that people use. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. I'm going to pop out next week and uh, see what I can get, but I'm really pleased with this. So yeah, and the purple it all goes with my kitchen. <laughs> I've still got loads of glue there but now really like that so i'm going to make some more now and um, i've had a bit of a casualty though i don't know if i'll be able to show you but i've taken the skin off my finger there with the hot glue gone oh. <laughs> you think after all this time that years i've been using the glue gun i'd learn <laughs> i never do i always end up burning myself Right, well that's me finished I think out here for today. I am starting to get a bit of a headache now. I'm getting a bit warm actually. So I don't know if it's just me or my injection sort of taking effect on me. But uh, all being well, I shall be back tomorrow, which is Sunday. Uh, see what else I can make. Bye for now. Hello, well it's Monday morning and unfortunately I didn't get back on on Sunday to film. Um, I wasn't very well at all Sunday. Um, Saturday evening I wasn't well. I started feeling poorly in the evening. I'm not sure what time it was but I was starting to feel cold and got a little bit of a headache but had a good night's sleep Saturday there. I had a good night's sleep Sunday but all day Sunday I, <laughs> I was either in bed uh, for the morning really uh, and in the afternoon I just spent on the settee and I'll put a little picture in of my little settee buddy <laughs> it was Salem I'd got the quilt downstairs and he, he was on the quilt with me uh, I've got Bramble at the side of me then I ended up with Elsa with me she wanted to sit um, I did sleep quite well like I said Sunday night as well uh, I didn't really get a headache, the headache sort of went off, it was just like a fuzzy head but I was cold even though like you're touching your hands I was warm. I had a couple of little shudders but that was about it. Uh, it was mainly being tired, I was absolutely shattered, I, like I, said, I just couldn't move. I was on the settee, I went to sleep, I have no idea what time I went to sleep and I don't know how long I was asleep for. Because obviously uh, Adele was doing her own thing and Kevin was sort of working in the garden and then he had to go out to work. So I had a, quite a very quiet day and didn't really have much to eat. Had plenty of drinks, uh, but that was about it. So this morning when I got up, felt fine. Um, I've got a bit of a bad back when I got up this morning because obviously I spent a lot of time sort of sat and well, laid down yesterday. Uh, yeah, but that's gone off a bit now. Uh, I do feel a little bit tired, but it's not stopping me from doing anything today. So I'm, I am having a quiet day at home. I'm just going to do catch up on a few jobs, really, get a bit of housework done, and probably get some sewing done later on. Maybe do a little bit of cross stitch this morning because I've missed that. I really wanted to sort of cross stitch yesterday, but <sighs> there was no way, no way I could. So I thought I would just like pop on briefly, just say why I didn't come back on yesterday. And yeah, I mean, thank you for joining me this week. And yeah, I hope everybody's had a good week, whatever you're doing. So I will see you all again for next week's vlog. So take care, everyone. I hope you have a lovely week and keep on crafting. Bye for now. <laughs> Um, while I was on the settee on Sunday, Adele had been busy um, doing some more watercolour drawings that she's been doing. So she finished all them up and 
she's made up some mugs for me which is really nice now this is a very cute one a lovey dovey pair of Tompsies which is really nice so that could be used for any any occasion really I really I love the colours they've come out really well so that's the first one and the second one is an Easter one so it's Easter Bunny Tompsies there we go I will try and get some photographs and pop them in at the end I know I've got a little bit of reflection there but the pictures are on both sides and this one as well it's on both sides um, and these will actually be in my Etsy shop by the time this vlog goes up uh, yeah I think she does it she's done a good job there